you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills About That Business. Don't wear your wealth. You know what, man? I had someone, um, like a comment on an old channel, right? I mean, old video, real old video. And this was a video where I just had like, it was it, all like, it was like, I was very, I was like sitting like by this duck pond, right? I had just a regular t shirt on, some jeans, no socks on, just some regular shoes, right? And a commenter was like, oh, you must not have any game dressed like that. And I was like, I'm like, dude, really? Really? All right? Because we have too many, the problem is we got too many people who judge how someone's doing in life by what they wear. Now, you know, what you're wearing is good if uh, you're trying to pull somebody. Because I will, I will throw on some, y'all know me. Uh, anybody who might follow me on Instagram, they know I, I like some nice shoes. I even did something on ROM TV about uh, some of my shoe collection. I even show it all. I like some nice shoes, right? You know, and I, I'll throw on some nice stuff and, you know, Calvin, nice shirt, bow tie, all of that stuff, right? But... One, the stuff is inexpensive to me. Two, it was kind of really for business. But other than that, I don't wear anything. Like, there's a meme that go around. It shows, like, a, a poor person and a rich person, right? Now, the poor person get, like, $1,000 worth of clothes on. The rich person, the billionaire, they'll say, they, they'll go as far as say the billionaire, got maybe $100 worth of clothes on, Right? Too many people don't get caught up into wearing your wealth. Now, like I said, I'll throw on some nice stuff when it's business. When it's business, because I know it's like I'm trying to portray a, a certain image, right? So I'm going to do that. But when it's not business, I got sweatshirts on, ordinary jeans. I got it at some discount store or something like that. Or even if I buy it, right? Even if I buy it, I'm like not spending it, right? People who make money don't always show that money. Like, I know this dude. This dude, uh, I mentioned this dude before, right? Works, he, uh, like, six figures is his base. That's his base. He's starting at a base. He's able to pay cash for, like, cars and shit, right? That dude, that dude, he'll go right into, he'll go into, like, a store and head right for the clearance rack. <laughs> he will, we will catch every sale, do it. You know why? Because people realize clothes, I mean, no matter how good you keep them. And you, you might can keep some shoes for a long time, right? But everything else get frayed. Stuff going to get frayed. They built that way. You ain't going to keep a suit for a long time, right? I mean, or you want to do some extra stuff with it or shirts or something. You're going to need some new stuff. Your underwear, you want to start getting holes in it and stuff. You're not going to spend all that money. It's stupid to spend that much money on something that depreciates, right? The people who are rich, they already know there's some bullshit. Put that, instead, put that money, buy some extra stock or something, or put a little bit more into some business investment they have, right? Put some more into their business. Because the thing you want to have, you want to, because the rich, they're going to focus on real estate. They're going to focus on stuff that appreciates that's going to bring them more money. Even cars, a lot of, I mean, you still get, believe it or not, extremely rich people might not buy, for the most part, will buy, like, nondescript cars. You know, for the most part. For the most part. Now, you got some rich people, they're going to buy some high-end cars. But if they do, even when they get to that point, it's because it's more like a reward to themselves, and they're usually older. And if you see a younger person with it, it's usually because they came out of a rich family, don't appreciate the wealth. That's a different thing. But whatever you do, don't wear, you don't have to wear the wealth. I mean, if you just got that type of style or something you want to, fine. But even then, you know, keep it in perspective. Who you, you know, you don't need, people don't, you don't need to, people don't need to uh, know you got a Rolex unless you at some business meeting or something. You know, when you specifically need to impress someone. Understand that. Understand that. Right. 
and don't get caught up into it, right? Because, um, you know, the area I live in, is uh, median income is like uh, six figures, right? And ironically, the most the store that stays the busiest around here is a dollar store. You know, I had a detractor try to say that. You know, they looked me up. They said, well, you live in a, you got a dollar store in here. You must be poor. And I was like, no. People with some money don't want to spend like $4 on toilet paper. <laughs> That's like the biggest thing. Or instead of buying like a Hallmark card for $7 or something, they can get it 50 cents. And you be getting, but you look out in the parking lot and you got like late model cars and everything, high end cars and everything, because <laughs> they're not wearing the wealth. And, you know, they ain't spending a bunch of money just to say they got it. That's, you know, that's the one thing. People who make money, who got wealth, they look, in, they look for ways to increase the wealth. And they, they're like the liabilities, their wealth reducing liabilities are usually low. You know, so don't wear your wealth. Don't don't wear it. Don't let people know what you necessarily got. And that's not even talking about the jealousy or whatever, right? You know, because trust me, I could probably, I could probably have some Armani suits and all of that. But it's like, boom, shoot, I got a coat now. I never got a chance to wear, <laughs> but I got it on sale though. So anyway, right. That's all we got for today. Let's go make that money. <laughs>